2.18 time yesterday. The news confirmed as well, you know, Stacey Jones is the new Kiwi coach. He's been the assistant coach of the Kiwi, assistant coach of the Warriors. Greg Peters is the NRL CEO. Welcome back to the show. Thank you, Martin. Always a pleasure to be here. Was it an easy decision to make in the end, appointing Stacey? A uh, very easy one in the end because he was by far the most outstanding candidate that we had uh, and demonstrated the, the, you know, the complete package we were looking for uh, in, a, in our next Kiwis head coach. The most outstanding, more outstanding then, than the Sir Alex Ferguson of Rugby League, Wayne Bennett. <laughs> oh, he'd love that title, wouldn't he? Well, um, I'm not here to talk about Wayne because I don't think that's fair or out of respect to um, the merits or otherwise of uh, Wayne's um, application, but he obviously publicised his interest in, and also his application. So uh, in terms of the complete package, we believe Stacey's got what we want with the Kiwis. Um, and at the end of the day, he is who we are, and uh, and I think that's a really powerful point to take forward he's also honed his craft as a coach um both as a uh, i'll call it an apprenticeship with the kiwis and also uh, working as assistant coach with the warriors over a number of years which uh through some pretty tough times and under a number of head coaches where he's he's taken bits of those uh those people as you do in any leadership role and uh and is ready now to stamp his mark as stacy jones head coach of the kiwis how much of it was because you wanted a Kiwi to coach the Kiwis? Look, uh, we, we've had that, uh, as you probably know, since 2017. We changed the rules at that stage because prior to that it was always had to be a uh, Kiwi. Uh, we opened it up to the best coach and that still is the case. Um, the board didn't change that policy going into this um, particular, particular selection process. Um, obviously, at the end of the day, you know, if we get a Kiwi candidate that we believe can do the job, that's that that's uh, got to be the priority. Um, but we weren't close-minded on that at all. Was it a unanimous decision? Uh, the, the panel that interviewed um, Stacey was unanimous in the recommendations of the board, absolutely. And it was, uh, you know, as, as is always the case around board tables, a robust discussion because they want to, the two most important appointments boards ever make are the uh are the coach and the ceo so was it a unanimous board decision then in the end um i'm not going to um to, the board has decided and and approved the appointment as the most important statement there so just to clear up for people who who actually got to vote in the end so the board that the panel consisted of uh, Honey Henry Smiler, Taranika, Eddie Kalassi from High Performance Sport NZ and a, a legendary coach and another code himself, uh, myself and Motu Tony uh, from, um, as, as management uh, representatives on that and we made the re- recommendation to the board and the board has the final um, say and they approved the appointment. I know you won't, don't want to talk about Wayne but people just want to know why not? I think let's talk about why, <laughs> and why is the complete package of Stacey that Stacey's that Stacey brings. As I said, he is who we are. He comes. He he gets the con- cultural connection part, he, which is our our um, connection to the land and connection to the people and fuck a papa back to uh, to several parts of New Zealand that he he has. That that's a really powerful and unique part of the Kiwis that other countries. Um, don't, some other countries don't have in the same way that we do and we have grown that connection uh, particularly in the last last year or so and prior to that obviously it's always been there but we've put a lot more emphasis on that and also uh, importantly it's the leadership of the players now and the standing up of people like James Fisher Harris and the leadership group and um, driving the way they want to play the game and and standards within the team. And we just think all of that, um, Stacey understands and gets, um, and th- that's a really important part as, part as well as being a pretty astute um, technical coach. Greg Peters, NZRL CEO with us. Is that, does that imply then that Madge Maguire didn't get all that? Because he seemed to be absolutely immersed in it. Yeah, no, no, not at all. I mean, he he was growing into it, uh, and anyone who 
and myself included, who isn't doesn't come from those cultures necessarily. It's a lifelong journey. It's not so. It's not a finite um, finite thing. Uh, you, you've got to keep learning and growing into that space. And Michael was great at that, and, and he had um, took huge strides in that in that area in the last sort of year, 18 months. And you can see the way the, the team connected the, and, and came together through the um, through the Pacific Championships last year and he, even at the, you know, the very narrow loss at the World Cup. Um, but certainly in the last year, the, uh, the growth of that group uh, and, the, and the cultural connect of that group and the uh, leadership of the players, uh, Michael, Michael has had, uh, should take a lot of credit for that. Greg, just if you could put a percentage basis on it, how important is the cultural connection stuff compared to how important results are? Oh, look, we all, and Stacey would say this too, we're here to win, right? So at the end of the day, that's that's number one. However, how you do that and who you are is really important. If you ask any high-performance um, team and, and you just look at the Warriors, they've done a lot of work in that space and and sure, I, I, your, your next question is so they didn't win the NRL, but they went very deep into the competition last year and a lot and, and performed in, in part of a huge rise in popularity of, of the team and the way they were playing. And that's about understanding who you are and grounding yourself in that culture. And that's what you fall back on in the hard times. And if you don't have that grounding and you don't have that understanding, you're missing a key part in a high-performance team. What's the minimum standard then in terms of results? What do you want? What do you expect? Oh, Stacey's goal and our goal and our vision is to win the World Cup in 2026. Uh, so we, every, he will tell you if you if you're talking to him that um, winning is everything on off the field behaviour standards everything. So you win at everything you do, uh, and that's that's his his. Uh, vision and philosophy for the team and uh and it is ours too we want we want to keep being the, we want to be the best in the world is it contradictory at all that ricky henry can coach the kiwi ferns and the queensland cowgirls stacy can be the assistant at the warriors coach the kiwis but madge couldn't coach origin for three games and the kiwis yeah well that's you have to understand where the line's drawn on that and i, I think actually we might have done an interview with you last year yeah we did bearing yeah. That up. yeah that's it well, but 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 the key difference here is we believe that the state of origin is an Australian pathway team uh, and chock a box full of um, um, Australians, Tongans and Samoans, and no Kiwis are able to play in that team. So it's a different kettle of fish from being a club coach. And in the case of Stacey and Ricky, uh, well, Stacey, particularly at the assistant coach level, he has the time... Um, you know, he's a full-time job, obviously, but he has the capacity to do the um, uh, QVC coach position as well. And also, by virtue of the fact he's travelling to Australia every second week, he's connecting with players, he's keeping current in the coaching environment, which is also very important for the high-level high level jobs. Um, and with Ricky Henry, the very same thing. We needed him almost needed him in the NRL setup for his own personal NRLW setup for his own personal growth and development which has been immense as well in the last two years Thank you so much for your time one final question I know it's not a popularity contest but when you look at, at Razor being the All Blacks coach and the public absolutely adore this guy you look at Stacey and again I mean you know you don't have to be a league fan I mean he's just an absolute icon he's a, he's a, he's a wonderful man every time you meet him he's, he's just so cool does it does it play any part at all in 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 your thinking process? No, our, our thinking process was um, certainly on the person. Um, you know, if you look at you, you, you've described Stacey exactly as we would describe him as well. Um, and uh, his humility, he's a humble bloke. He's he's as I said, he's who we are, and I think that's really important. Um, and you know, Razor, if you could compare us to Razor, he's a little bit edgy, a little bit different, um, and he's going to bring a different edge to it. And Stacey will bring his personality and his edge to the Kiwis, I'm sure, as well. Devlin. Unbelievable. Incredible. The Platform.